Hi, I'm bringing the movies and cinemas near you right now. First we have Midnight in Paris, latest Woody Allen flick. Might be quite good, but not really in cinemas near here. He found it and watched it, I'm envious, because I haven't been able to. And as a result, I've seen Johnny English Reborn twice. Yeah, twice. First time, really quite funny. Saw it with my dad, pretty good. Fun stuff. Second time, I fell asleep, so I only see it once, for sure. Uh, we then have Tyrannosaur. If you're Welsh from Friends, don't go see it, because you're going to be disappointed. Doesn't have dinosaurs. Then have Albatross, another British movie. Really gritty, teenage, moody movie. Um, wait for it on DVD, I'd probably say, because again, it's not on around here. We're a little bit too mainstream. This is a really indie movie and a bit depressing. We then have Dolphin Tale. Weepy, for sure. The advert made me tear up. So, go see it with your mum. Be quite nice with a box of Kleenex. We then have Footloose, remake of a classic Kevin Bacon dance flick. If you like Step Up and that sort of stuff, it's not in 3D, I think, probably not. But if you like Step Up, I say, um, go see it. I'm going to go see it anyway, just because I want to see how they remade it. And we then have Real Steel, Rocky with Robots, in one line, I would say. It has Hugh Jackman and Evangeline Lilly, as in Lost. Um... Bit of a father and son redemption story, meant to be quite good. Uh, we then have Sleeping Beauty, it's an 18, that should be some indication that it's not the classic Disney tale. Again, I can't find it on anywhere around here, and I'd wait for it on DVD, but if you do get it on DVD, prepare to be a little shocked by it. It's quite sexual, and so prepare to be disturbed to some degree. Uh, we have then Contagion, probably seen the advert, it's got people like Gwyneth Paltrow, Matt Damon, and oh, and Kate Winslet. Uh, all of the good bits are kind of in the advert, which is kind of inevitable. It's not quite bleak enough to make it good. Too much the American optimism, really, for a, an apocalyptic movie. To be honest, only the English could make it bleak enough, which is good, because we have, we've made our own, of the same basic plot, not exactly the same got a lot of unknowns it's called retreat again if you can find it i'm envious we then have we need to talk about kevin tilda swinton on an oscar dash it was quite good at the festivals it's about a mother with an irritating teenage boy probably want to read a hypnosis before you try and go see it because you really need to commit to a movie like this it's a book adaptation it really is quite a good book as well so i recommend the book but uh the movie for sure but prepare to commit to some deep stuff. We have Idiots of March, a political thriller with a bit of sex and conspiracy on the side. George Clooney and Ryan Gosling. Also quite good, probably seen posters up with their face, like half and half. I like the advert. Um, we then have Monte Carlo. Fans of Gossip Girl go running to the cinema. It's got our own Leighton Neister, as, uh, as in Blair Waldorf. Also has Selena Gomez, aka Justin Bieber's girlfriend. Although it is meant to be quite funny. Just, I know it's a bit sexist, but if you're a girl, it's really up your alley. If you're a guy, you're going to be bored stiff. Um, for Help, another book adaptation with the excellent Emma Stone in a more emotional role than we've seen it from her lately. Again, prepare to commit, because it, you, it's a bit deep for a light afternoon stroll to the cinema. We then have Abduction with Taylor Dortner. Yes, it is the wolf from Twilight. And on that basis I'm probably not gonna go see it. I know that's a bit shallow. But if you do if you're really into Taylor Lautner, go f for sure. It does have Sigourney Weaver for a bit of a class injection into the movie. Meant to be quite good. Meant to be, I believe, people. Uh last but not least we have the three musketeers. Orlando Bloom in the first role for a while and he decided to get married and have a baby instead. He's the villain. Some good swashbuckling, sword fighting fun, really. Right, now I'm going to bring you what's in Odeon right now. They have Anonymous. Um, a little bit of a literature thing going on there. It's a 12 a so it's quite available for all ages. They have Contagion and Dolphin Tale in 2D, 
in time with um, Amanda Seyfried and Justin Timberlake. A bit of a different take on the future. I want to go see it because it looks quite interesting. Um, they still have Johnny English Reborn, they have Kung Fu Panda, Machine Gun Preacher, only on Wednesdays right now, but um, that's Gerard Butler being a bit emotional again. He's in Africa and you get the idea from the title. They have Monte Carlo on, uh, One Day, that was Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. It's, it's uh, not too many showings right now, but that was quite good back when it was first out. Paranormal, Paranormal Activity 3, still going strong. Now, I really love the Paranormal Activities, and so I went and saw it and was terrified. But you really do have to be open to be being terrified by it, otherwise you're not going to get it. Um, they also have Real Steel, obviously. Oh, and The Adventures of Tintin. Um, that's Steven Spielberg and Jackson, Peter Jackson. Um, it's Tintin. I think even the name's going to make people go see it, so I'd go see it. It's in 2D and 3D. I recommend 2D because 3D gives me a headache. But if you're really into 3D, then pay the extra £2. They have The Help as well, The Lion King re-release 2011. They still have The Smurfs in 2D, and they have The Three Musketeers. That was Odeon. At The View, they have Tintin as well, The Help, Johnny English, Paranormal Activity 3, Contagion, Real Steel, The Lion King, this time in 3D, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, again, you have to commit to a movie like that. I fell asleep the first time I saw it because it was just so dense, it's a lot of talking, your dad will like it. The Three Musketeers, they have at View as well, and Dolphin Tail, and they still have the Inbetweeners movie which my mum saw and she thought it was hilarious so it's definitely across the ages that one well that's what is at the local big cinemas right now hopefully this was helpful and bye